Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about immunoprecipitation and co-immunoprecipitation uh, principle procedure in details. Let's first look at immunoprecipitation. If you look at this word immunoprecipitation, it consists of two words. One is immuno and another is precipitation. Whenever you see immuno, that means it is related to immunity. So in this kind of precipitation method, we use antibody okay so we use antibody we use antibody for the precipitation that's why it's called immunoprecipitation so so why this technique is used what is the use of this immunoprecipitation let's say that you have a mixture of mixture of proteins and from this mixture of proteins you want to specifically detect one protein let's say that that protein is e so in that case you are going to use immunoprecipitation so one of the techniques that can be used is immunoprecipitation. So uh, how it works? So in immunoprecipitation, what we do is that we use antibody that is specific against our protein of interest. So here in this case, so we are going to use immuno anti antibody. We are going to use antibody that is attached to magnetic beads and which is specific for our protein of interest. The protein that we want to detect is protein E. So our antibody will be specific to protein E, which means that our antibody will bind to protein E, okay? So then, uh, up to, so, so our antibody can bind to protein E, however, this antibody will not bind to any other proteins present in this mixture, okay? So then, moving forward, so then what we will do, we will uh, incubate the mixture, cell lysate mixture or the mixture containing all of these proteins uh, with our antibody that is attached to the magnetic beads. So then after incubation, what happens is that uh, because our antibody is specific for protein E, it will bind to protein E, however other pr proteins will not bind, right? So then what we will do, we will uh, incubate it for some time, then afterwards we, 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 we spin it and we wash it. So when we wash it, so when we, when we spin it, so our protein of interest, it settles down. So our protein of interest, it settles down uh, because it has been conjugated with the, with the antibody and that, uh, that antibody is attached to the magnetic beads. However, other unbound proteins are removed from the mixture. So then our protein of interest, it gets settled down as the precipitate. So then what we do, uh, so uh, we then uh, simply separate this complex. So basically magnetic beads are removed. And when we separate the complex, then uh, antibody will be separated from our protein of interest. Then we will have our protein of interest, which is protein E in this case. So. Uh, to analyze and to confirm that if this is a protein E, we can perform Western blot and that will give us the idea that if this is the protein E or not. Okay, so this is immunoprecipitation, guys. In immunoprecipitation, we use an antibody that is specific for our protein of interest. So that's why this is called immunoprecipitation. It is one of the methods to detect one protein from the mixture of protein okay so now moving on to co immunoprecipitation so co means together okay co means together immunoprecipitation is what i just explained so let's say that there is a mixture there is a mixture or the solution containing uh, different proteins and in that solution uh, protein e and protein a they are interacting and they are present as a complex. So protein E and protein A are interacting, whereas other proteins are not interacting. So co-immunoprecipitation is used to uh, detect the protein-protein interaction. Co-immunoprecipitation is used to detect protein-protein interaction. So then how it occurs? So how, 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 how co-immunoprecipitation can be used to detect uh, protein-protein interaction? So uh, we have our antibody and this antibody is specific specific to 
our protein, let's say that E, okay? So we have our antibody, this is attached to the magnetic beads, and this antibody is specific to protein E, which means that this complex, this, com uh, th this antibody will bind to the protein E, and this protein E is in interaction with the protein A, which means that protein E and protein A complex will bind to our antibody. So why? Because we have our antibody that is specific to protein E, and when protein E binds uh, to the antibody, it will also bring protein A together, right? So because they are interacting with each other, okay? So, uh, so we, we incubate with our pro, uh, antibody, and then the, 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 the complex uh, will bind to the antibody. Then what happens? So basically, we, 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 we incubate with the antibody, complex bind to the antibody, and we spin it, okay? We spin it, so we spin down, so then this complex will settle down uh, together with the antibody and magnetic beads. Whereas other, whereas other proteins, which other proteins will not settle down, they will appear in the supernatant. So then when we remove, when we spin it and wash, remove the supernatant and we wash it, so basically we will get rid of all these other proteins which are not, um, which are not uh, specific for our antibody, right? Our antibody will not bind to these other proteins, therefore these other proteins will be washed away, okay? So that means that this complex this complex, uh, protein E and protein A complex, this will settle down and we will have our antibody that is that has now bound to protein E and protein A complex. So then what we will do, we will uh, remove magnetic beads, so they will be discarded and we will separate the complex and then finally we will have protein E and protein A complex. So why this technique is, is called co-immunoprecipitation? Because co means together. So co means together and Im immunoprecipitation is pre precipitation using antibody. So what happened here? When we used antibody against protein E, against protein E, this antibody precipitated protein A together with protein E because protein E and protein A are interacting with each other. They are present as a complex, okay? So therefore, this method is called co-immunoprecipitation or in short, co-IP, okay? So in immunoprecipitation, we, we have only one protein uh, which is precipitated, whereas in co-immunoprecipitation, we have two proteins or more than two proteins uh, that are precipitated. If these proteins are interacting with other protein, for against which we use the antibody. Thank you.